tripod do you use? What cal? Hey y'all, Sean back with South Texas Fur Takers here to tell y'all a little bit about my go-to predator hunting setup. I get asked all the time, hey Sean, what do you take with you? What kind of tripod do you use? What caliber are you shooting? I get these questions all the time. So I figured, hey, let me make a video, tell everybody what I like and what works for me. So we'll start out with the question I get most asked is the tripod. What kind of tripod are you using? Well, this tripod right here is the Night Goggles Stalker tripod. It is a carbon fiber tripod, and I have taken out the uh, center spoke there where you can get some added height. This thing adjusts perfect without it for me, and with it out, I can also take it prone to where it's about seven inches high, shoot off of it like a bipod if I'm shooting from a prone position. The thing I like most about it is this tripod weighs about two pounds. So I put me a little uh, sling on here and I can run around and tote that thing over my shoulder and you know see a big group of hogs half mile away and you want to stock up on them in a the field you know that that's really easy to carry. I also have this monopod carbon fiber tripod basically the same thing uh, you know if you want to go even lighter uh, a little tougher on a bolt action not bad for an AR-15 since you're not having to, to work the bolt, uh, but this is good for those long stocks as well. Um, both of these are running an Arca Swiss mount, and all my guns uh, that I predator hunt with, I have an Arca Swiss rail adapter. Uh, most of them have M-lock slots like you see here on this MDT chassis, also on my ARs. I get four ends with uh, M-lock slots. You can get them to fit. Uh, Picatinny and key mod also that will fit that Arca Swiss. Um, if you don't want to go that route and you want to just use uh, a bolt gun and regular stock, you can also, this here is the Reaper uh, Rest. It's uh, made by Kopenfjager. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put the name up so you know how to spell it. But uh, it slides in. It's great. It holds the gun really well. But this thing's got to be two, two and a half pounds. So it adds a lot of weight. This thing right here weighs as much as that tripod does. So you're basically doubling your weight. If you can, if there's a way to do it, I say go with the Arca Swiss rail straight to the gun. It's uh, real easy. You don't have to, you don't have to unscrew it. You put your rifle in and out when you're starting and stopping. It's just all in all, I like it a lot better. Now, if you're sitting in a deer stand, you're not walking around, this is perfect, no big deal. I just prefer the Arca Swiss mount. Alright, so let's go to the uh, gun itself. This here is the brand new Ruger American Ranch 6.5 Grindle. I was running the Ranch 223 for a long time. I like the 16 inch barrel, uh, the MDT chassis obviously because it's got the M-lock slots and it helps improve accuracy and everything. The only thing I don't like about the MDT chassis is the safety. Kind of sits down in here real deep. It's kind of tough. You got to bring your hand around to click it off safe. Um, but typically with predator hunt and hog hunting, you've got plenty of time. You know what's happening. You see them coming in with a thermal from a long way away. So it's not the end of the world. It doesn't really bother me that much. I ran a 6 5 rental for a long time. I ran it uh, in an AR-15 platform. Decided to go to the bolt action with the 223 because that was my best option at the time Because I felt like I wasn't taking time with my shots uh, Started making a lot better shots with the bolt action then they came out 6.5 Grindle, so I had to get one um, And I've taken it out once shot one coyote with it, you know dropped basically on the spot I've got a video called thermal predator hunting that shows that video um, Other than that one thing I really like is these Hornady cheek rest pads. They are very high quality. They come in uh, black and tan like you see here. So I run an external battery pack because CR123 batteries get pretty expensive in these thermals. This here is the Pulsar Core. Um, and basically I run my cord and my battery pack into this pouch here. I don't have cords everywhere. I don't have a pouch attached to the front of my gun. It balances really well. Uh, it's just super handy um, and I guess that's pretty much it on the gun you know it's hold grip and then it's got a mag pull stock that you can't see just the CTR 
you know, it's got the clip, takes the wiggle out of it. Here, uh, I've also got the uh, Anarchy Outdoors extended bolt handle, which I find helps with the 6.5 Grendel. It doesn't feed quite as smooth as the 5.56223 Ranch does, but uh, it still feeds no problem. Um, no issues there. Like I said, just that extended bolt handle gives you a little more leverage, throws it a little easier. I like that. Um, I found that the C Products Defense Magazines, the 10 rounders, are by far my favorite. So that's what I'm using. As far as inside of them, uh, right now my go to ammo is the uh, Nosler Varmageddon, the 90 grain tipped. Uh, these things are awesome, they shoot really well. Uh, you can see what they did to that coyote in the video above. Um, I just really like them. They're a little more expensive than the Hornady Blacks and everything like that, but I mean, I'd rather shoot one shot than four shots. So right now I'm sticking to these. They've been great. Uh, got no complaints on that. Like I said, it's the Nosler of Armageddon. I also was shooting them in the Ranch uh, 223 with the uh, 55 grain tip. And they did great as well. I really like them. Uh, here at the end of the barrel, I've got a Gamma VG6 Precision Muzzle Brake. Uh, I'm guessing somewhere around 40 to 45, 50% recoil reduction with that bad boy on there. It's super handy. And then another modification I made, the trigger. I have a M Carbo Trigger Spring Kit in there, which... The gun has the adjustable trigger. You can go, it says three to four and a half pounds. Factory, it comes like four and a half pounds. Um, but you back that screw out too far, it makes me a little nervous. Can't really get quite to the three mark, at least not and feel comfortable about it. I put that in carbo spring in there, 12.95, and I'm shooting. It's pulling somewhere between two and two and a half pounds now. So for 12 bucks, you can't beat it. Uh, got a real nice, light, crisp trigger on it. I really like that. The optic is the Pulsar Core. It's basically the lowest end thermal you're going to want to spend your money on. Um, but don't let the price tag fool you for what you're getting for it. It is a great scope. It doesn't have any of the internal video recording or anything like that. No Wi Fi. But it'll kill anything you pointed at. I mean, I hunt with guys that have $3,000 to $6,000 thermals. And I kill just as much stuff whenever I'm inside that 200, 250 yard range. No issues whatsoever. I highly recommend that scope. I also have the uh, aftermarket QD mount made by Pulsar. Um, got rid of the original mount. Just took up a lot of space. Didn't like it. Um, the scope holds, I think, three different zeros in it. So I have it zeroed for my ranch as well. And I just popped this bad boy off. Uh, and pop it back in the chassis and click it on the other one and you're good to go. Um, I do always check it, but it's always right in there. So I haven't had any issues. Uh, as far as hearing protection, I've gotten to where, you know, I do a lot of hunting with buddies. We're talking one, two, three, a lot of hogs, you know, that one, two, three shoot kind of deal. These Walker Razor Game Ear uh, earmuffs here, they're the ones that amplify the sound but block out sound over certain decibel. They have been awesome. Uh, it takes two AAA batteries. They last many, many hunts as long as you don't accidentally leave them on. But uh, I've been very happy with them. I have two pairs. Uh, it's great for taking a kid hunting. You can talk to them, tell them you're ready to shoot, and you've got your earplugs in. Everybody's got their earplugs in, but everybody can hear what's going on. Um, I, I recommend these highly as long as you don't mind the bulk. They are bulky. They get hot in the summertime, but it's better than not being able to hear anything. Alright, next thing I want to talk about here is the uh, Pulsar Axion Key. This is the XM22 model. Uh, this is my handheld scanner. And for the longest time I said, hey, I'm never going to need a scanner. I've got a scope. I've got a good tripod. I'll tell you what, spinning in circles on that thing at night got old real fast. I broke down and bought one of these. And it is amazing the difference one of these makes. It makes life so much easier. I uh, bought this right when they first came out with the XM22 model, and since they have dropped the price $500, so now I would definitely highly recommend it. 
Um, this is a two power monocular. It has the eight color palettes. Um, I still like the black hot. Uh, as far as the identification range and things like that, it's going to be very similar to that Pulsar Core. Uh, I think the resolution might be slightly better with the new update I just did, but the screen inside is smaller than the screen inside of the uh, Pulsar Core. So even though this is a two power and that's a 1.6 power, uh, the animals still look a little bigger in that. Um, so ID seems to be a little easier. Uh, but that being said, I mean, a few hundred yards, uh, you can tell the difference between a deer and a hog pretty easy once you get used to it. Um, they're standing still, they got their head down, you're not going to tell the difference. You really got to wait. They've got to move, uh, pick their head up, do something, see that long neck. But uh, it definitely can be done with these uh, once you kind of get used to how the animals move. Um, next, oh, also on these, these take the new uh, APS-3 batteries from Pulsar. Uh, I like them, they're super handy, rechargeable. I bought the dual port charger and an extra battery. These things are lasting around three, maybe three and a half hours out in the field. Uh, I leave mine running the whole time. Uh, it's very handy, super easy to change out. The APS tubes do not fit, but if you have a Thermion, uh, these APS 3s will fit both. So grab a couple. They're $100 piece, but still. Uh, it's, it's handy having the rechargeable little CR123s really add up. Um, and talk about the battery pack I was running on the, the core scope itself. This is an anchor uh, power supply. It is the 10,000, uh, I think, milliamp hours battery pack. It's got the one USB port, so you're not going to charge your phone while you're running your scope. But uh, this guy lasts. I haven't done a test on hours. But, I mean, I've done all-night hunts, and I've done several in a row without having to charge this thing. Uh, it lasts a long time, and it's about $30. It is 100% worth the money. I really like it. Uh, next over here, we've got the call. So, I have been running this Convergent Bullet HP for not that long. A month, maybe a little over a month now. Uh, two months, something like that. I think I got it around Christmas. And it is now middle of February, so yeah, two, two and a half months, something like that. And boy, I'll tell you what, I ran a Fox Pro for years and years and years, and I had different models. Uh, got buddies that have the Hammerjack, buddies that have the Fusion. Uh, I was running the uh, Inferno. This thing is, I don't know if it's just different sounds, what's going on, but I have called in so many predators with this thing. I haven't had a chance to do it with the hogs yet. Uh, I've tried once or twice with no luck. I have had some hogs come in to the distress sounds, uh, like rabbit distress and things like that. And uh, But I don't really count that as calling hogs. Uh, but it does happen from time. I've done that with Fox Pro as well. Uh, this thing's pretty cool though. The design, I, like, I wish it played while it was closed. It wasn't, didn't get quite so big. Opening it in the dark, kind of loud. Twist it, pull it up. Then inside of it is your flag here for your decoy and your stake, which threads into the bottom there. Stick it in the dirt, hold it up straight. Uh, but as far as the sound and everything goes, the sound is great. Uh, it's got quite a few good sounds on it. Bluetooth. To your phone so you just download the apps and I guess you could download any any sound you really you wanted that are in that uh playing that mp4 style format I guess um it's uh it's been awesome I mean it really has the only thing about the bluetooth that I'm not a fan of is it's line of sight which I'm not one of those guys that puts the call out real far I like it within you know 50 yards depending on the wind but uh, say you're turned away from it, say you got your phone in your right pocket and you turn and look that way, you're scanning the opposite direction of the call behind you on your six. Uh, you're going to block that signal and if you stay turned that way too long, it's going to lose signal and it's going to start skipping and making some weird sounds. 
So just make sure you keep the call and uh, your phone with a good line of sight. Um, Convergent sells. Uh, if you buy the whole kit, it comes with a mount. You can mount your phone to your gun on like a Picatinny slot. Um, personally, I don't want that much added weight on the front of my gun. Uh, I just soon keep it in my pocket. But it is an option for you if you like that way or want to go that way. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it. That's, uh, that's going to do it here. This is my, my go-to predator hunting setup. Like I said, I was running the 223 for a long time. Now I've got the 65 Grendel. Taking the Grendel out once with this new rifle. But I'm really a fan of the 16 inch barrel for predator hunting. Uh, I can still reach out there a little bit if I need to, but uh, you know, sometimes you got foxes at 20 yards, sometimes you got coyotes at 175. So it's, it's a good setup, especially for here down in South Texas. Uh, you boys up north hunting those big fields may want to run something a little different. The Ruger has a 22 inch Grendel. Uh, I have that gun as well, but for what I'm doing, it's just a little too much to tote. But if you're hunting those longer ranges, I would highly recommend that that caliber. I really like it, especially with these uh, Nosler of Armageddon's. They are some uh, good shooting bullets. So if you've got any more questions, if there's something I didn't cover you want to know about, hit me in the comments. We'll talk about it, or I'll make another video on it. And until uh, next time.